Good morning. It's a new day. And uh, today we're working on a couple projects at the homestead. We are going to, uh, we're gonna hop in that back room again and we're gonna start taking a part, we're gonna start taking the drywall out of, uh, out of that little closet area today. Just kind of see what's going on in there is kind of the plan. So that's what we're gonna do today. And then after that, if we got some time left, it's beautiful today. We're going to finish dragon ice storm limbs that are still laying around in the burn pile. So that's kind of the plan. It might take a couple days. I just need to get some, that stuff done, so. That should be everything we need, so can't go that way. Well, we could go that way, but we gotta go up the steps. We're gonna go all the way around the back of the property where it's flat, get our equipment up there, get after it. I think this is all we're gonna need, we'll see. The wheel came off. <laughs> Looks like the pin's missing. <sighs> well, that sucks. Let me go see if I can find the pin in the shop somewhere. But I found a pin to fix the wheel. I think the plan is we're gonna pull this stuff out of here we're gonna pull these shelves down man there's electrical in here I mean I don't know how to turn that I guess just turn this light off uh, I think what we're gonna do is just get all the loose crap out get the shelves out pull this insulation and basically just try and get it to where we can see what's going on oh and update the room in here like with a little bit of airflow huge difference doesn't stink like there's a problem I don't think I want to have my good hat in here either. I think all this stuff is nasty. All the clothes I'm wearing is going to be not good after today. I'm going to go switch the hat out and then we'll get on this. We're back. I think let's put our masks on and uh, let's get after it. Let's get after it.
that flooring is soaked so you can see the water is coming in through here you can see that's a little wet that's all mold this is all coming out I think we should go in the back and see what is going on here let's go see what's going on let's go see what's going on outside so here is what's going on outside you can see it's a little wet right there okay so it's got debris and stuff up against that wall see that so I think the ground is just too close to that I'd love to know what you guys think I think that's what's going on so you got all this debris this looks wet soaking in I guess if rain was coming this way it could hit that wall but this looks too close to that wall am I right see that that debris is what's making that wall wet Um, all right, I'm gonna go tear it up inside. Let me know what you guys think about that. I'm thinking rain's hitting that wall. There isn't enough roof there. I'm thinking once I get it cleaned up, maybe I could just put some, I don't know. I'd love to know what you guys think. you guys this see those mold spots up there obviously you see that um, right there oh man right here I feel like I want to know right now is there underlayment under those shingles let's go look this is the moment of truth. Because he added all this on. Did he just put shingles up or did he put underlayment? Bro. There's no underlayment. Can you guys see that? Me. Can you guys see that? We have just found the source of a lot of our problems. So homie did this whole audition and uh, built all this, put these shingles on, but didn't put underlayment to waterproof it. Wow. That means that all these, basically this whole roof needs to be redone. Anything he roofed, I now question. Basically all these roofs need to be done is what, we're, what we've come to. Dang. I think we might as well finish what we're doing here. Um, you know, at least tear this out. Yeah, let's do it. Did I leave my gloves out there?
those ants. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know, I guess spray them. I'll be honest, I don't know how I feel about that. But like, I know that ants being in the walls isn't a good thing, right? <laughs> oh man. What the heck is this? What the heck are those? I'm gonna slow this video down and show you what we're finding. So, this wood is all wet. Found an ant farm there. I'm finding these little pockets of shells. I don't know what those are. Found them there. Found them all up in here. Um, so, if anybody knows what that is, let me know. My cart's already full. I think I'm just gonna try and get it's hot but it's like I don't want that stuff falling on my skin so that's why I'm wearing all this stuff I'm gonna just try and get the insulation pulled out and get to the bare walls so we can all see what's going on it ain't looking good so let's just get that done and then we'll do the loads as we have to do the loads
I just need to sit down for a second. Hold on. That was nasty. I'm sweating. I couldn't take my coat off because I just wanted to keep that crap off my skin as much as possible. I just disinfected my whole camera because I mean, you're just playing with insulation, rat poop, who knows what else. So let's talk about what's going on up there. Dude framed that in, however he framed that in. And then, I mean, that's a lot of work. Even to do what he did up there is a lot of work. And he put roofing shingles over the roof, obviously, right, to make it a roof. Um, but skipped out on the, I don't, and don't, I don't know much about roofing. So if there's any roofers watching this, please let me know. But what it looks like is he didn't put tar paper. So it's like he tried, he cut too many corners, right? I think if he would have just put that down, it would have been waterproof. Most of the problems we're seeing back there wouldn't be happening. So what I think is happening is the roof isn't waterproof. We live in Oregon and it rains. The water's coming through the shingles, soaking into the plywood creating mold, right? The water's coming into the walls. I think the dirt back there is too close to the walls. It's getting wet, it's not sealed. This is my, uh, I'm, this is out of my wheelhouse. I'm just like kind of looking at what's going on and what I think is happening. So I definitely need your guys' help in the comment section to figure this out. It's worse than I thought. I think what, ha right now it's starting to warm up, right? You're seeing the sun out. Now, I think what we're gonna have to do is now I've got all the crap out of the way. I've got airflow in there. I've done the best I can for right now, right? What I think has to happen. And here's the deal, homie roofed all this stuff. So if that's how he was roofing these buildings, that's not a good sign. So what I'm thinking is every structure here needs a roof. That's gonna be so expensive. I'm gonna have to learn how to do it myself. I was quoted, even with my homies, like a crazy amount of money to roof all of this. I think what's gonna have to happen is, and I kinda of wanna focus on one thing at a time. I think we need to re-roof the house, number one. Whatever wood is rotten in that back patio deal needs to be replaced on the roof. And then I've got to decide whether I'm going to try and close it in or I'm just gonna make it an open patio and take all those nasty rotten walls out and then there's airflow and then you paint the wood and it seals the wood, right? So it's like, he did so much work and then cut corners on so many things. I just, I don't understand, but basically I, I'm thinking that all the roof all the walls need to be tore out and the roof, the whole roof needs to be replaced on the roof probably at this point. Replace whatever out of wood. I, I'm leaning towards making that an open patio, re-roofing the whole house, making an outdoor play area, which would honestly kind of be nice. It's kind of what I'm thinking. And then there's airflow. I don't gotta worry, it's gonna be cheaper. I don't gotta buy insulation. I don't know how much shingles and stuff are. I'm, I'm gonna have to watch some YouTube videos on how to do that. Uh, but, and then at some point in the future, it could be closed back in, but at least what's there is taken care of and it's fixed versus whatever is there now just getting worse and rotting worse. And then I'm gonna have to roof all these shops. I think that's what's going on. If there's any contractors or roofing professionals I'll probably I'll probably message my buddies that came in to fix the roof on the ice storm too uh, yeah that's kind of where we're at I was planning on getting some more ice storm limbs in the burn pile but 
I'm pretty tore up. I want to eat some food, but I can't go in the house covered in this stuff. So I need to take this clothes off, take a shower. And it's honestly beautiful outside and we haven't had a lot of really nice days. So I think I'm going to go see if Jaylena and Ember want to go like to the lake and have some fun outside, I think is the plan. So I think I'm going to end this one here, get some feedback from you guys. I was thinking I was just going to get that fixed and then do some other things, but I think we might have to just get that handled before we do anything else. I think is what has to happen. <laughs> so let me know. Uh, if you're a long time subscriber, love and respect. If this is the first video you just happen to have seen, consider subscribing. We have a whole lot of work on uh, a homestead here in Oregon and yeah. Peace out. Bye.